welcome back to processing brains so in this video we will learn how to uh, install windows 11 and in the process we will first create a bootable usb drive to install windows 11 and later on in the process we will go with installation of windows 11 so first to create a us a bootable usb device what you need to do is you need to have one usb of at least 32 gb the second thing that you need to have is Windows 11 ISO that you can directly do download from Microsoft website. So you would just go and search for Windows 11 download. And here you can see Microsoft.com. So you can have pirated versions as well uh, from the torrent etc. But I would not recommend that. And here you can see Windows 11 disk image. So simply go and select it and download it. So once you have downloaded the ISO image, you have a USB drive. The third thing that you need to have is a software with the name of Rufus, R-U-F-U-S. And hit enter. Here you can see Rufus.ie. So open this up. You need to download this one. Simply go and click on Rufus 3.2. Download it. And once you have downloaded it, simply go and install this. and here we have this is now opened up now here first you need to select your usb drive so for example i have selected this one that is windows 11 the name is windows 11 i have here we have the uh, usb drive and the second thing that you need to do is you need to select the iso uh, file iso file is that file that you have downloaded from microsoft or in other cases you might have downloaded it from torrent etc so do not do that so that's not recommended so uh, get this iso here open this up and once you're done so now the next thing is that partition scheme select mbr and here we have the target system as bios ufi etc etc once you have done so just go and click on start and here it says something just go and click on ok it says all data devices whatever will be deleted that means if you have any uh, data on your uh, usb drive that would be deleted so in case if that is important just go and copy that and once you have done so just go and click on ok now the process is that it has uh, just started uh, creating file system after that it would start copying iso files and it could take around uh, maybe 10 to 15 minutes depending upon your pc or it could take a bit longer too so i would just pause the video and will uh, join you back uh, once this process is uh, near to completion process will automatically complete up and here the status you can see it is ready so uh, the next process is the installation of uh, windows for that you need to close this close this one close this one and you need to attach this USB to the laptop or computer on which you want to install uh, Windows 11 and I will uh, meet you there so here we I have my laptop and here you can see I have connected the USB here and I what I would do is I would simply go and turn this on and first you need to go to BIOS in case if you are unable to boot up with your uh, USB you need to go to press F2 or uh, depending upon your laptop the key could be different so you could simply go and search on internet what is the key to enter the bios of that specific computer like hp has different dell has different and other systems have different lenovo has different so once you are in bios the interface could be different but the thing is that you need to search in for boot sequence and in the boot sequence uh, that would be boot sequence or something similar to boot you need to make sure that you have the legacy boot option turned on so legacy boot option and if that is turned on make sure that is saved and once you have saved that setting just go and exit that the system will uh, reboot and that solution is in the case if you are unable to boot using this usb so if it automatically boots up your, com uh, your computer with windows 11 installation you do not need to do that setting so here you can see uh, the setup has started so i'll uh, just go and wait for a while uh, so you can see the 
ring is here we will be on the next screen so you can see we are here and the setup has started so i would simply go and click on next and click on install now so it says setup is starting you need to wait for a while uh, for the process to start meanwhile uh, make sure that you have powered plugged in so uh, you do not get out of power during the installation process so simply go i accept this click on next custom go to custom so here you would you would have multiple partitions so uh, here the case is that i have my previous windows installed in this partition that is 194 gb and others 16 mb and 100 mb these are reserved partition uh, that help to uh, uh, boot up the windows etc etc so what you need to do is you need to first uh, delete uh, uh, delete the primary that is uh, your uh, uh, primary partition on which you have installed the windows so you need to delete that delete okay so basically you are deleting the previous installation of windows and after that uh, you need to delete all these smaller partitions as well because these contain the boot data and they would they would make an issue if you do not delete them so you would delete this 100 mb partition okay then you would delete this uh, 16 mb partition delete that then you would delete this 477 mb partition that is smaller partition that you would not be using that is you can see the type is also recovery so you would delete that as well so once you have done so now you can see i have another partition that i do not use for the windows installation i will you would use this uh, disk uh, space for a windows installation so select that click on new and here click on apply to ensure all the windows feature work windows so here you can see windows might create additional partition for system files click on ok uh, so it says windows cannot be installed on this the selected disk is of gpt style partition okay. so once you're here and you see this uh, issue of the disk selected disk is of gpt partition style so we will fix this issue uh, just go and click on ok so first we need to fix this issue and then we will continue with this setup so click on close i show you want to quit click on yes we will be again here and here you need to um, type shift f10 and this would open up this command prompt in some of the cases you might need to type in with fn like fn shift and f10 so in some of the cases uh, on in on some of the laptops so once you have done so and here you are uh, on this and here first you need to type in for disk disk part you can see disk part and hit enter and wait for a while this would help us into the disk part uh, program and here type in for list disk list space disk hit enter and here you can see i have two disks one is 28 gb the second one is uh, 238 gb so this 238 gb is my hard drive and this uh, 28 gb is my usb drive so what i would do is i would select sel select disk zero because disk zero is the one having the issue on which I am trying to install my window. So hit enter. It says the disk zero is now selected. And here now type in for C L E A N clean and hit enter. It says disk part succeed in cleaning the disk. Now type in for convert space capital G P T. Once you have done so, hit enter. It says converted successfully to the GPT format. Click on exit. It says leaving this part. Again, click on type in for exit. And here we are. Now the process uh, will be smooth. Click on install now. Here we go. The setup is starting. Wait for a while. Accept the Microsoft license agreement. 
click on next click on custom here now you can see the unallocated space click on new you can make as much as uh, disk partitions as you want like i would go with the uh, one with 200 gb apply okay the second one with 40 gb apply and okay now we will go and select the partition on which we want to install click on next and you can see copying windows files and the process of windows installation has started so uh, i'll join you through the process so here we go so it would take a bit of a time i will uh, join you back and pause the video so here you can see the process is continuing successfully and so the through this it is totally automatic so you won't need to do anything like here we are it's now saying installing updates and after that it will go up to finishing up here you can see now it's on finishing up now it the computer will restart here you can see and it says restarting so simply wait restarting in one second so here we go now the computer is restarting and here you'll be able to see how this works so the windows 11 uh, menu is here there is still a process of installation continuing and on this window it would take a bit of a time so you can see starting services getting devices ready etc etc so it could take up to 10 to 15 minutes maybe so simply go and wait for that process to complete and i'll uh, join you back then so the computer will uh, restart uh, multiple times during the process and uh, it will automatically reach on this point and here you can see uh, now you can select your country and that uh, i would go with so here we go select your country simply click on yes the voice is usually annoying so simply go and turn the volume down and here it says uh, keyboard that's totally up to you i go with us click on yes add second layout i don't want to skip let's connect to your network it's totally up to you if you want to connect to the network i would simply go and connect it later so in case if you connect to the network there are multiple processes that would uh, that the computer will uh, let you go through so i would do that later installation etc so i would i don't have internet connect to device quickly uh started on your quickly get the best feature to funny now it's saying that quickly get the best feature to have fun stay online etc etc continue with limited setup that's totally up to you you would connect with the wi-fi and that would sail you through the process so it would download few things ask you to log in to your account uh, on uh, microsoft and that's totally now click on next enter the password click on next it says enter password confirm password click on next security questions what the heck simply go what's your first these fields are required so childhood nickname yeah, that's totally up to you that what you want to enter so i would go so uh, now here uh, we go with the next part that says choose your privacy just go and click on next there's nothing to worry about now click on accept it would say just a moment now it says hi and at this moment it would take a bit of a time to uh, get things ready and it could be up to maybe eight to ten minutes so i would just go and uh, wait for it 
so it says uh, this might take a few minutes so i'll join you back when this is completed so here you can see we have successfully installed windows 11 or pcs so you can see here we can simply go and use that here we go we have all the apps i would go to my pc and here you can see we have new icons etc etc and all the things so uh, hopefully this tutorial has helped you to install windows uh, 11 in the right manner and uh, just let me know in the comments if you have faced any issues i'll try to help you so thank you for watching this and before you go please like subscribe and share thank you